Today we're gonna do salt and pepper ribs. We're gonna throw them in the smoker, and I've used all kinds of rubs this summer. I really love all of them, but recently I did a salt and pepper pork loin that was just fantastic. And we're gonna use the Pit Boss Whiskey Barrel Pellets. If you guys didn't see my review on that, I'll put a link above for you, but they're really, really good, and so I can't wait to try out this combination of salt and pepper and whiskey barrel pellets. So let's get our ribs seasoned up, and these are pretty well trimmed up. I don't really have to do anything to it. I'm not gonna take the silver skin off the back. Believe it or not, nobody's ever complained when I've left it on, so I'm leaving it. And we're just gonna use some simple uh, coarse kosher salt, and we're gonna coat it real good. And then I'm gonna take some coarse ground black pepper. I like to just pour a little bit in my hand. And then I can drizzle it on like this. If you like a lot of pepper, put on a lot of pepper. I kinda of like a lot. Um, so I'm gonna go pretty liberal with it. And then we'll flip it over. And even though there's a membrane on here, I'm leaving the flap as well. Um, I'm still gonna season it because when you bite through, there will be some salt and pepper on the bottom as well. There we go, same thing with the pepper. Nice and simple. Flip it back over. Oh, that smoke smells so good. That sweet oak whiskey barrel smell. It's gonna be fantastic. So the only other thing I have to do, um, you don't have to do this if you don't have a small smoker like I do, but I do have to trim off one rib bone to make it fit in here. So let me cut that off real quick. I'm gonna go from the thin side, and all I'm gonna do is just pick up, find where this first bone is, and then I'm gonna cut it right along the bone. And this will go in with the ribs, and I'll just have that as a little snack along the way. And so now we're just gonna throw it in the smoker. I've got it set to 250 degrees. On this smoker, that means it's gonna cook somewhere between 225 and 265. It'll fluctuate uh, in that range, which is perfectly fine. And I'll plan on these cooking somewhere between three and four hours, but we'll just play it by ear. We're gonna do it to tenderness. So let's get them in. I'm going on about the center rack. So there's no neat way about it. Just toss them in. Get this little nugget right there. Get the door closed. And the water pan is full. I always cook with the water pan full of water. And it's gonna be really interesting to see what kind of a smoke ring we get with just salt and pepper, as well as the smoke flavor. The last time I tried this, you could really taste the smoke, which is why I'm excited about this. So we're gonna come back in about an hour or two, see if we need to spritz them or not. Otherwise, we're just gonna let it roll, and then we'll show you what they look like and how they taste. Okay, we're right at about the one and a half hour mark. Let's open it up and let you get a look at it. Just pull them out of here. Starting to take on some real nice color. The salt and pepper has set, meaning it's not rubbing off at all. And so I've just got some warm water here and I'm gonna spritz them. I don't want them to dry out on top. So, just some warm water. You could use a mixture of water and apple cider vinegar or apple juice, whatever you want. And that's it, we're gonna put them back in. And we'll let them go for another hour or so before we come back and check on them. But so far, so good, they look great. All right, we're coming up on about the two and a half hour mark. Let's pop this open and get a look. Oh yeah, nice. Nice, nice color. You can see the juice is just pooling over here. That's looking good. A little bit dried out here on the top, so I'm gonna give it another spritz with the water. Let's not forget about this little dude. Get him spritzed. Okay, let's get him back in the smoker. Get this door closed. 
All right, so I'm gonna keep this process going for the next, I don't know, two hours or so. We'll come back when they're ready to pull out of here and cut them up. I can't wait, it smells so good out here. So we'll be back when they're ready. All right, these ribs are done just how I like them. It took about four hours and I don't like my ribs fall off the bone. I like them probe tender. I took them up to 205 degrees and then I brought them out and just let them rest for about the last 10, 15 minutes. So let me get a bite while they're still hot. As you can see, a real nice color on these. And for those of you who have pellet smokers, um, who might be having a hard time getting your meat to taste smoky. I definitely recommend starting out with salt and pepper. I think sometimes the rubs can overpower the smoke. So you might try that, but let's take a look at how we did. Beautiful color. If I squeeze that, you can see the juice just coming right out of that. Nice smoke ring. You can still see that salt and pepper on there. Look at that. So here we go, I'm gonna get a bite and see if we can pick up that whiskey barrel smoke. Man, here we go. Oh my God. So juicy, flavorful, smoky. And that salt and pepper is just right. Look at the bite off of that. So it bites clean off the bone, but it doesn't fall off. That's the perfect rib for me. Man, one more bite. Mm. Hey, I'll tell you what, if you guys like this video, check out this playlist right there. That's gonna be all kinds of salt and pepper ribs for your inspiration, or you can check out this other Pit Boss video, and I'll see you over there.